Tonight, Ukraine is celebrating its 33rd Independence Day, and its president marked the occasion by <laughs> vowing revenge on Russia, while calling Vladimir Putin a, quote, sick old man. It comes as Ukraine's military takes the fight across the border into Russian territory. CBS's Ian Lee has the latest. Freedom isn't free in Ukraine. The country's paid for it in blood and still is. The eyes of the fallen watch President Vladimir Zelensky and his wife honoring their sacrifice on the country's Independence Day. Ukraine gained its freedom 33 years ago from the Soviet Union. Now Russia wants to snuff it out. Ukrainians always pay back their debts, and whoever wished misery upon our land shall find it in their own home with interest, he said. Whoever seeks to sow evil on our land will reap its fruits on their own territory. Two and a half years in, keeps taking the fight into Russia, seizing nearly 500 square miles of the Kursk region. Leading the charge is Commander Vitaly, whose identity we were asked to conceal. Has there been anything that has surprised you during this operation in Kursk? The thing that surprised me was the presence of conscripts, he said, young guys who are 18 to 20 years old who are entrusted with tasks that should be assigned to regular troops. Ukraine captured hundreds of these young Russian conscripts, adding to what Kyiv calls the exchange fund. Moscow and Kyiv made a trade today, swapping a total of 230 prisoners of war. Vitaly says American support is crucial in the fight, especially U.S.-led NATO training. It gave us the opportunity to open our eyes to a new way to fight, he said. And as you can see, we have successfully applied this, and with this experience, we can conduct similar operations in the future. What does the operation in Kursk tell you about fighting the Russians? Is there a way to beat them? Of course it shows that, he said. It shows that they don't have any advantage. Their advantage is just in numbers. Ukraine believes its main advantage is the will to win. Ian Lee, CBS News, Lviv.